What's going on everyone? Ancap24 here from playbook.gg. And in today's video, we're gonna show you a read option play that we really like. Something that I've been using a lot in Draft Champions. And I wanna teach you exactly what defense I like to run it against. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you wanna win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. All right guys, so the play is called Lead Read Option. It comes out of the Gun Deuce Close, which can be found in either the Ravens or the Bears playbook. Two playbooks that I like to use because it has 3-4 Bear when it comes to draft champions. Now, the alignment that I like to run this is very meta, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and put 3-4 on, and I'm going to press the LB for a random play. We don't know if it's going to be man coverage, it's going to be cover 2, cover 3, cover 4, it doesn't matter. It's about, it's about the um, type of alignment that I like to run it against, and I'm going to show you that here. So I'm just going to press X for the lead read option, and the meta type of run defense a lot of people do is they put their um they pinch their d-line and they spread their linebackers some people will press but basically they're going to get this type of look to where they want to get these players out here wide and they want to keep these guys in the middle right and usually they'll uh use their linebacker or use their safety okay well this type of alignment is really good for you when it comes to being able to run this because of the fact that you can clearly see the read defender. The read defender, if you want to see it, is basically by pressing the left trigger and then right stick up to show the play art. It's the player that has the R over his head. I'm going to put the cursor on him so you guys can see. It's going to be the annoying. Again, left trigger and right up to show the play art. And you can see that that's the player that we're reading. Okay. Now, it's a really easy read. There's only two animations this guy is going to give you. One, he's going to sprint at you. And when he sprints at you, he's actually going after the running back, not the quarterback. So when you see him take two or three steps, you know, basically um, at you, you're going to know you want to hold on to the ball. Don't press any buttons. Just carry out the fake and you're good to go. If the player goes ahead and basically puts his hands out, kind of stops in place, you're going to know that he's actually playing the quarterback on the contain um, for the option. And basically, you're going to want to hand it off by holding the A button. So we're going to go over some reps. Um, most of the time, they're going to try to play the running back, not the quarterback. But hopefully, we'll get some good reps where you can see both. Okay, so here we go. You're going to see that he sprints. And we're going to have this great opportunity to get some good yards, okay? And the reason why this is, is because of the way that the alignment is, plus the way that the handoff is. But I want to slow it down just to show you what the sprint looks like, okay? The sprint looks like this. This guy's going to come and sprint at you. At this point, you should know already that you're holding on to it, right here. This guy's coming at you. I don't have to worry about holding on the A at this point. I already know he's sprinting out me. I've got a lead blocker in 86. And because he's going to go after 21, that basically gives you another blocker. And see how the number 89 comes across? He's going to clean up and be a lead blocker for you, which is really nice. See how he cleans it up, opens up that angle for you, and lets us go to the house, right? So let's go ahead and run this a few times just to show you basically how this is going to work. I'm pinching, I'm crashing. I'll go ahead and move these guys down. I'm looking at the player on the right again, left trigger, right stick up to see the player. It's that player there. And you can see here that he's spreading at me again. And you can see that we had that ability. Okay, now there's two things. I want. Obviously, I missed my hole there. But two, if you're going to get hit, I would suggest sliding. And the reason why is because you know not all quarterbacks have the ball handling skills. And you're going to be prone to, to fumble in a little bit. But you're going to see here that you're going to have a lot of success. You see that the guy's going to get you. Okay, let's go ahead and slide, right? It's just one of those deals. I'm averaging, I think, about 12 yards a carry when I do this play. And some of it has to do with the running back. And hopefully they'll go ahead and show it sh uh, shortly here where they go and play the quarterback. And that way I can show that animation. Let's see here. Nope, he's still sprinting. We're going to go this way again. And okay, we'll go ahead and slide, right? I'm going to do it manually um, on the defensive side of the ball. If I just go ahead, let me go ahead and get this here. If I press, press the LB of the left bumper button and then do option quarterback, that's going to tell the defense to do go against the um, and play the quarterback. Now watch this animation. When this animation is, he's going to put his hands up and he's basically going to kind of freeze. See how he puts his hands up, freeze. And now you're going to see that we're going to have that ability to kind of run into the outside. You're going to see that the hole is typically going to be between the left tackle and the wide receiver. And you want to kind of run this ball flat. Okay, so let me show you here. 
you're going to see that first this animation over here. Let's look at that player. He goes ahead and you can see how he puts his hands up like this. Like he's, he's spreading his wings. At that point, I know when he spreads his wings, I'm good to go because he's not sprinting at me, right? Puts his hands up like that. I'm good. I'm going to hold down the A button. And you're going to see that this hole is typically going to be right here in this spot. See how it goes that way? I go outside and then I kind of just kind of read my, my block from there. This time I'm not going to telegraph it. So this way you can kind of see um, hopefully that um, we're making the read ourselves and not knowing it's coming. Um, typically, you know, they'll, they'll play the quarterback from time to time, but right now it's it hasn't shown it that way. Let's go and check it out. Okay, he's going to spread at me. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go outside and you can see how easy this run can get if you go ahead and read it correctly. It's not something you want to spam. I want to make sure you understand that. It is a two running back, I mean, a two tight end, two wide receiver running back from, uh, formation. So anything out of single back ace that you can go ahead and audible from that to this will give you that. Because a lot of times people aren't going to give you this alignment right off the bat if you call gun deuce close. But if you call single back ace or you know something like a slot and you go in, uh, audible into this, you're gonna be a little bit better off when you see that alignment and doing that, right? So I'll show it to you a couple more times just to see if we can get this uh, to do it. This time he's still sprinting and we'll see basically again, we'll go down. But you're gonna see how good this play is if you get the read down. Unfortunately, they're not giving me a whole lot of opportunities here. So I'll do the, the, the option here again, just so you can see it. The guy stops, press the A button, and now we're going to see here, we're going to get ourselves five or six yards. Now, there is a second motion I like that if I want to mix this in, maybe I've done this a couple times, you can motion 89 over, and what you'll do is you see he'll just get him out there a little bit quicker, and we'll read the same thing. He comes in sprinting. Now we're going to go through here, and that time we got stuck a little bit, but you can see that that's kind of a more of a quick um, yardage play. Like if I want a short yardage and I want to do this play, I'll do this because one, a lot of people think that you're running a dive up the middle, but second, he gets out there quicker. So if there's any type of blitzing, you can do that, right? So here we go. This goes out here like this, and now we're able to get around there, right? So just go ahead and, and practice this play. You're going to see a lot of times that you're going to have a lot of success when it comes to um, getting this to work for you. You can see here, here, that time you got the animation, I actually held on to the A, but I pressed it instead of held on to it. And that's why it basically did what it did right there. So we're gonna try this again for you and show it. Again, he didn't do it that time, so we're gonna go down. But you're gonna get into the practice mode, try this play out. I'm telling you, I'm having a lot of fun with it, um, especially when users are trying to figure out what you're doing with it and, and have some success, right? So like, if you look at this, if you look at the types of plays that you can do, you can go from single back wing slot, single back ace, um, where is it? Uh, single back bunch ace, single back wing slot. So if you're in something like this, where you know, you're know you running, and people are, are trying to decipher what they're doing. So a lot of times this is a stretch defense, right? So you, they do it this way. And then you notice that they're in that defense. You go ahead and you go into this offense real quick. They're trying to figure out what you're doing. You go, you, you hike the ball, you read your player, and now you're off to the races, right? So it's one of those defenses, offenses that I like to go in and out of to kind of keep them off balance. And by the time they figure out what's going on, we're off to the races. So hopefully you like this video. Go ahead and add it to your arsenal. If you have um, one of these playbooks that you're interested in, definitely use it. Use it in DC. And also, if you want, go ahead and add it to your uh, custom playbook because it's great because this is a play that you could uh, mix in with um, some other plays. I know this formation's in Oakland's playbook, but not the actual play. So appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on tomorrow's video. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.